and this is Cody from Vet Agri Health. I just wanted to have a little vlog about a new technology that has come out in the last little while, and that is the Google Helpouts. So what Google Helpouts is, is a new technology released by Google. I believe it was just this fall. And it allows you to connect through their Google Hangout system, which is basically video and chat. And you can book a consultation with a expert and they will talk to you about a certain topic. So examples would include right now things like a personal stylist. You could talk to them about that, how to cook, uh, how to pass a Spanish test, how to do calculus, how to do math. Uh, what else is there? How to sew, crochet, a lot of different things. Handyman ones, that's another one. So. If you're having a problem with a do-it-yourself project, you can set up a Google Helpouts with a handyman and they can walk you through something that you're struggling with. So I started thinking about this technology and how it applies to veterinary medicine. And I did a search. And so far, the only thing that pops out on my Google Helpouts is a dog behaviorist. So somebody who you set up an appointment with and they want to consult on your dog's behavioral problems. Now, when I did a Google search of veterinary medicine and Google helpouts, I did come across a few blogs that had talked about Banfield, which is a large uh, veterinary corporation that has multiple satellite practices, and their use of Google helpouts. But I think there's some sort of geographical restrictions especially as it pertains to, to health and medicine, uh, which I assume is really geared towards the human side. But anyways, on my Google Helpouts, I cannot see Banfield. So if you're watching and you can see help, or you can see Banfield on Helpouts, let me know. So I guess my thoughts overall is should veterinarians be using Google Helpouts and how can we use Google Helpouts? I had a little brief discussion on Twitter with a few different people about it, uh, but it was kind of a dead-ended conversation and I didn't really get very far on it. So my thoughts are in traditional veterinary medicine or the, the definition of veterinary medicine is you do a physical exam you come up with your problem list. From that problem list, you come up with your potential uh, differential diagnosis, and then you order more tests, and you could potentially come up with a definitive or final diagnosis and implement a treatment protocol. Whether that treatment protocol has a prescription product or not, uh, it just depends on, on what's going on. So I don't really see a great fit for that with Google Helpouts because we get into very strict regulations with the Vet Med Association or the VMAs. Uh, so a, a physical exam would be required in a lot of cases, especially on the individual animal medicine. But on with the telephone, veterinarians often make uh, at least some form of consultation uh, for example, small animal veterinarians on emergencies will talk to clients or non-clients about a case, a uh, sick dog, and give them advice, potential home remedies to get the animal through if it, something's not very serious, or even just a general recommendation that your dog's probably fine or your cat's probably fine, and you can take them into the veterinarian in the morning. And in our practice, a large animal beef practice, we do a lot of consulting with clients and sometimes even non-clients on problems, sometimes specific and sometimes less specific. So general recommendations, um, things like that. So for example, a client would call in and say, uh, they're having a, an increase in foot rots. So we take a history and we potentially could come up with um, some potential recommendations for, for that client or non-client. 
Uh, so we're not really prescribing anything. We're not making a diagnosis. We're just giving information out. So I think things like that, there would be a fit for a fit within Google Helpouts. And I guess I should back up a little bit. So Helpouts, you can do things for free. So you can schedule an appointment uh, to do a face-to-face -face video with someone for free, or you can charge them. So you can charge by the minute. You can charge by the 15 minute interval, you can charge for a half hour session. It kind of just depends on what services you're offering. But a lot of people right now are really smart and they're doing free uh, Google Helpouts consultation and basically to build their overall brand awareness, get their name out there. Uh, so that, I guess that is a part of the equation that this could be either a paid service or pro bono uh, just to promote your vet clinic within your area so that's pretty interesting so I guess there's a few other things besides clients calling in and you making some general recommendations say on nutrition uh, say on vaccination protocols new products things like that nature uh, there could be a mixed practice veterinarian that has a, a special cattle, cl cattle case and they want consultation with a, a beef cattle specialist. So they could set up a help out uh, with somebody at our practice and we could go over what problems they're seeing and provide some recommendations. So in uh, tr the traditional sense, that's not practicing veterinary medicine and probably wouldn't fall under the umbrella of a VMA. Another example would be a university. So universities call our practice all the time to talk about uh, different projects they're looking at and whether or not we could help them out with collecting samples, um, putting together field trials, and re recommending different things that can be done in that nature. Pharmaceutical companies as well. Uh, maybe a pharmaceutical company would want to set up a, a Google Help Out session with us so we can talk about a new product, a new product they're thinking about launching, in, say, in Canada, um, doing clinical trials with us, all things of that nature. And, and that's things that, that wouldn't fall under the VMA's uh, jurisdictions either. It's not practicing veterinary medicine. So I guess that's just some of my views on the topic. And I would be very interested to hear back on whether or not you think that a veterinarian should explore the Google Helpouts tool and maybe we shouldn't and just let me know. All right, so comment on uh, Twitter. Oh, the link will be at the bottom or let me know on YouTube. Okay, thanks guys.